What up, y'all? This your boy EB Man coming at y'all with another video for the 99 of 2000. Hey, and I'm back at it again with another build video. And this one, pretty much, I will say, when this build acts right, is my favorite build of all the builds that I've created. Now, I've created a whole lot of builds. So be on the lookout for some more videos with these builds because I got some more to post. I think it's what the third one. But anyway, of course, you know, I got to start off by putting some hair on my dude head. You know what I'm saying? But in this video right here, man, we're going to be talking about my slash and shot creator. You know what I'm saying? Shot creating first, slash and second. Now, I had to go and say the name, right? Because I had some little dickhead that wanted to be a smart ass in my uh, last video talking about some Man, call it what it is. Stop clickbaiting or something like that, he said. And name the uh the player what it really is or something, man. We talking about my uh, playmaking sharpshooter or whatever, cause I call it a sharpshooting playmaker. That's cause I put sharpshooting first, playmaking second. But anyway, that's beside the point. Anyways, man, we on the vitals. You know what I'm saying? Of course, my name is gonna be the same. School gonna be the same. Gonna rock that number two. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it really mattered. <clears throat> now I don't know. I had put left handed, cause I'm used to it doing it now. Cause that's all I do is make my players left handed. But the one I got. I'm going to create him exactly, you know what I'm saying, how I got him in the video, which is right-handed. So, I want to make him a point guard. I'm not sure how the shooting guard badges look, but, you know, I made a point guard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course, you put shot creating first, driving and finishing second. Now, first thing we're going to look at is the badges. You see, you get tired of scoring and teardrop a Hall of Fame. So, you know what I'm saying? You can play all day. And we get all these gold badges. You know, look at the gold badges. Mid-range dead eye, difficult shots, live city finisher, acrobat, lenders finisher, gold, all that. Then you get posterized silver, put back king, up and under specials, ankle breaker silver. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't breaking ankles. You get corner specials, bro. Limitless range, catch and shoot. Now, I think that some of this stuff turns silver. I think. Don't quote me on this. You might want to look at this yourself if you make them a shooting guard. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. I just know some of them badges like change up when you change positions. And if you need to, you can screenshot those badges. If you need to, you can screenshot these attributes. <clears throat> All that. Really, you ain't even got to screenshot it. This is just the base attributes before you touch the height, the weight, the wingspan. All the stuff that play a part in your build. 
which is very important but in this video you know i'm just gonna show you how i made my bill so of course i don't know why and when i was actually just recording this video you know what i'm saying i was playing with the height and stuff like that like i was gonna create the dude for real or something so i was che checking the stats and stuff like that again but you know what i'm saying I don't, I don't know what I was doing, but anyway, we're gonna just skip forward, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, I selected six four, you know what I'm saying? Now, when we go over here to the weight, this is pretty important, you know what I'm saying? This is all personal preference. Me personally, I just moved it up to 200 pounds, you know what I'm saying? Because when you got slashing in your archetype, you don't wanna be light going to the rim, you know what I'm saying? Plus, you know, you get more contact dunk uh, attributes when you raise your, your weight up. So remember that, <clears throat> you know, I just wanted my speed with the ball to be still high or at moderate at least. So that's why I ain't go too, you know what I'm saying, far with the weight. And of course, with the wingspan, you want to lower your wingspan. And here are my finished attributes, basically, of what I would look like at a 99 overall and what to expect and all that type of stuff. So now, back to the weight thing, you know what I'm saying? You might want to just play with the weight and see how you like it and see how... You know what attributes you'd rather have you'd rather have more contact dunks or would you rather have speed with the ball and all that type of stuff you know what i'm saying because if you get higher weight trust me you get more blow buys and you damn sure get more you know contact dunks so that's about it when it came to uh you know creating a build here's my actual player you know what i'm saying he's a 90 overall i probably could have him a whole lot higher than <clears throat> what i have him at right now you know what I'm saying? Here go the attributes of our that I currently have. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I have an 84 dunk. Now, what that means is, and I'm so mad because I just figured this out and found this out like probably maybe a few weeks ago because I didn't had him at a 90 since, shoot, probably February. Or what I just don't, I just be from my player to my player, so I just be switching around. But what I found out is, once you get an 84 driving dunk, you can now buy contact dunks and i'm just now being able to i'm just now buying and i done had that that dunk rating up to 84 since like i said about february or late january and i just so happened to look i said 84 i thought it was 85 but come to find out it was 85 to get elite contact dunks so i was so mad but as you can see here go my badges you know so i'm gonna just show you my badges as i talk through this uh blasphemy that i just found out not just playing but I pretty much just found that out, man. I was just like, dang. So I've been walking around here just trying to dunk, you know what I'm saying? Get like a little side dunk, like dunk on the side of somebody instead of going right at them and getting a contact dunk. Now, just because you got posterizer and contact dunk equipped don't mean you finna be out here just windmilling and dunking on people every time like a little peer slasher shoot. It's, start, it's still hard to do it with a peer slasher. But, yeah, it, it definitely works. As you saw in that last clip, I had just added that last night that was a clip i got last night that's why his hair looked different but here come my animations pretty much with my uh player and i just wanted to go through here and show y'all that you know i do have contact dunks to show y'all so y'all believe me pro contact dunk there it is right there you know what i'm saying it definitely can happen you know can walk on over and stuff just disrespectful so yeah so you definitely can uh can uh equip that and then you go to the, i'm going to the animation store to show you that you can equip you know what I'm saying? Contact dunk, elite contact dunk. And that's going to be on my next attribute cap when I get 85. I think I max out at 85 driving dunk. And I will be getting some elite contact dunks for the 99 to 2000. But anyway, man, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. Hit, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for them notifications. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I'm out.